channel, it's Coach Michelle Hong here, and today I have a special guest, Ashley. Ashley is actually my very first private lesson student ever, and I'm so happy that she's grown up to become this woman that she is today, and I'm so happy to have her as our featured guest. We're gonna show you different sit variations to build levels on your spins and competition. Leave a comment below to let me know what your favorite variation is. Okay, let's go Ashley. Before we get into the difficult stuff, let's start out with the basics, the sit spin. So I made a video a while back on how to do the sit spin, so I'm gonna leave the link up above so you guys can check it out and perfect your position before moving on to difficult variations. Although the sit spin is a pretty basic move that everyone in figure skating loves to try, it's really hard to master, and a lot of people in the competitive world might not even get credit for their sit spin because their upper part of their skating leg isn't at least parallel to the ice. Another key way to think about this position is to make sure that the buttocks are below the knee of the skating leg. And that's how I tell my skaters to get low on their sit spin. So now that we have this down, how do we build more difficult variation to increase the levels on your sit spin? Okay, to get levels on your sit spins, you wanna build some difficult variation. And the way to build difficult variation is to do three different types of sit spins. You wanna do a sit front, a sit side, and a sit back. So to give you more clarity on what the sit forward, the sit side, and the sit behind look like, here's a diagram that US Figure Skating created to help skaters feel more comfortable about what positions they're trying out. So each of these different variations of the sit forward, the sit side, and the sit behind only get counted one time within a program. If you repeat any of the positions again, it won't get counted for an additional level, but it will get counted for a basic feature if it applies to your combo spin. Get creative and try to see what type of difficult variations you could try. So here I'm starting out with the sit forward with my favorite position, the bullet spin. It's super fun to do and it makes me very fast because I can pack my whole entire body into a small cannonball. So as you can see, this is a lot more difficult than just a regular sit spin. A difficult variation is actually a movement of a body part, leg, arm, hand, or head, which requires more physical strength or flexibility and has an effect on the balance of the main body core. So any variation that we're doing today must be held for at least two revolutions to be counted in competition. I highly encourage all of you to hold the position for three revolutions because the first revolution is usually considered the entrance. So the next sit forward variation that we're gonna do is the pancake. Ashley is demonstrating the pancake in which her free leg goes on top of her knee and she squishes down her chest and her face to her foot. This definitely demonstrates a lot of physical strength and flexibility, especially because her face is really close to her foot. Many people have trouble getting down because this opens up your hip, so you have to have a lot of hip flexibility in addition to being able to be fast and compact. Now Ashley's gonna show us a sit sideways, and this sit sideways position is called the broken leg spin. So actually, this sit spin won't really count in competition anymore because recently the rules have changed in which you actually have to demonstrate a core change. So for this to count in competition at an IJS event, she would have to have her arms to the side, her head up, or her torso twisted. So yes, I know what you're thinking, another rule change. It's really difficult to keep up with the IJS system. And as a coach, it's pretty difficult to be constantly updating my students about these changes because they're already frustrated with the regular position in the first place. They're getting the hang of the broken leg and then now they have to add a core change and X, Y, Z. But the best way for me to encourage my skaters to keep going and challenging themselves with these difficult rule changes is to encourage them by saying, hey, you're physically strong and you're really flexible. So honestly, it's just awesome that you can demonstrate these things to the audience and show off what you're fully capable of. Now for the sit behind. So for the sit behind, we're gonna demonstrate the tuck spin. People also call this the mushroom. So we're putting our leg behind our knee and we're curling into this mushroom-like position to get the best results on this position, I like to keep my head down and my elbows squished against my legs. 
I hope you had a great time watching all these awesome spins and feel free to try them out and let me know how you felt about them. I hope that this helped with your competition season and I hope this gives you inspiration to try new moves. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for more videos. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Love you all so much.